You know, Connie was right. Susan seems to really take to you. We just came by to apologize. You take one step into my house, and we're going to press charges. You haven't heard from this Dylan or uh, his girlfriend, Samantha, have you? No, but I, I told the police that I would, would tell them as soon as I did. I really want to thank you for your hospitality. I know we've overstayed our welcome. And no, I you just... haven't. You really haven't. Not at all. Susan, absolutely not. What do you... Talk to him. If you say yes, then he'll let me go. Please, Harley, please. I'll take care of it. I'll pay for anything she needs. Now, Susan's my daughter, and I'll take care of her, and I really don't need your money, Philip. You. I'm not like you, okay? Mm -hmm. I don't think the answer to every problem is to toss money at it. Okay, babe, just give me a second. But I am really, really hungry. Well, then you'll really, really eat when we get there. Hey, go to a fancy dinner with those white tablecloths and a French restaurant. A French restaurant? sure did a good job raising Susan. I've only spent a couple minutes with her, but it comes across right away. But I have the, the best dad in the whole world. And it's you. Dad, why are you here? Now, do you want in on this company, or do you not? Come on, man, you know I want in on this. I mean, I walked out of Spalding to be with you. So once we get the yacht moored, Matt, Jim, and I get in the Zodiac. We get to the harbor. See you, Arima, after the ball. Thank you, Dan. Right. He married Cassie. That's, that's why they're down here. They're on their, they're on their honeymoon. So, one man isn't enough for you. Now you have to bend down a press, huh? Listen, I don't want Cassie. I want you to do it. I want you. I want you. Not been Cassie in a long time. My mom was alive. here, Max. Is it Nickerson? What? This kid's coming after he almost killed Susan. I told you I didn't want him there. How can you keep blaming Max for everything that's gone wrong? Well, I'm not doing that. Because as far as I see, that Susan has been the bad influence on my brother. But you know, your little brother needs some stability in his life, Drew, and it's obvious that you can't supply it for him. But she wants to love him. And she wants to take care of him. And you have no idea how lucky he is to find it. So young. Saying that I was wrong to try to interfere with what you and Max have just because I'm worried about my daughter. I'm saying that uh, I'm sorry. You know, something tells me this is going to be a night to remember. Find a bone marrow donor as soon as possible. Here, here. As soon as the better. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, Even this baby is a potential donor. Thank you. Sorry, you're having a bad day, Philip. I'm really sorry you're having a day. Hey! 
You're not getting away from me on this. Hold calm, you It never would have happened to Wait, wait, wait. So, the baby is not yours. It's, it's Philip's. Don't those two go well together? Not to the house, sir. Whoa! Man, you're hot. Three and twenty. Back off. You know, up until now, I was going to go a dog, but at least we're viable sort of fellow. It's your family I'm worried about, man. Let me buy your marker and get you out of this mess before you dig yourself in any deeper. Right here, Edmund. No. We need to make the harbor in San Cristobal larger to accommodate the new giant tourist ships filled with all the people who want to spend money. I need an underwater server. And now that I own you, you will repay me. And my way. Jim? Hey, babe. <laughs> Great idea. You go ahead. You tell Susan that Max can't come to the party. I will. Okay, good. I hope it goes real well. I hope you have fun doing it. And you know what? You want to pay for the whole thing? There yeah, you go. Do good, it. good. You got it. You got it, Jim. You got it. Knock yourself out. Come on. We have someplace to go. <laughs> have a blast. Oh, we're going to have a good time. You have a good time telling Susan about Max. I will. Let me know how it goes. <laughs> that went very well. It's not funny, Josh. I'm not laughing, Jim. You lost that one. You know that. It wasn't even close. I could. But you tell me, how the hell am I supposed to make her understand what you did when I can't even figure it out myself? Hey, I don't know what you have in mind, but I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt and just assume that you really care about Lizzie. I do. <laughs> you damn well better. Because if I find out you have any other motives with all this lovey-dovey crap that you're pulling on Beth and Lizzie, man, I will snap you like a twig. Thanks for the warning. Mm-hmm. And lay off Cassie. Have a nice evening.
me that. Drew and her boyfriend Jesse, they're they're shacking up, and Max is right there, sleeping and living right there in the middle of it. And? And I know how a teenage brain works. You know, I don't want him and his raging hormones anywhere near my daughter. Wait a minute, you're coming down way too hard on Max. He hasn't done anything wrong, Jen. Why the hell are you playing devil's advocate for this kid? Because I don't think Max is the problem. I think you are. This is for you. Jim. And this is for you. Come on. Follow the trail. Let's see where it leads you. <laughs> Go ahead. Just start digging around. Let's see what you find. Joshua, I'm afraid I'm losing my daughter. 